What's up, YouTube? Yeah, I've been using microphone eternally low. I don't know what's going on with my phone. My phone is officially bugging. What's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make this quick update video. I passed my CDL test. Yes, it was the fourth time I tried it, but I got it. No matter how many times you try it, it just matter that you get it. I didn't give up, and I got it. I passed. The uh, only thing was when I started driving on the road, the guy was like, yo, you pissing me off. You're not driving the truck. Like, I was going too slow. I didn't want to mess up. Streets is bad tight, but he was like, drive that shit. So I just rode out. You know, it's all about you being comfortable. I guess the major part is they want to make sure you're comfortable in that vehicle because you definitely don't want... You don't want nobody who's behind the wheel or something and they feel like they're scared. When you're scared, that's when you start fucking up. Oh well, yeah, I completed truck driving school and I, I seen a couple people, people was wondering what was the trick to trucking school and what was it and it was some big secret. You know, at times I wish I could have just paid it, but now that I did it, I'm glad I got it because I'm just gonna tell you the, 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 the secret to passing truck school because it is a secret. You ready? Hard work. I was on that fucking yard from 6, 7 in the morning till 5, 6 at night. And I wouldn't leave until I had it. I nailed it. And before I'd come in, I'd do it a couple times. Like, oh, it's kind of all right. Not a whole ass. No. This time, I wasn't leaving without that shit being pinpoint correct. Now, if you've seen some of my prior videos, Nick, our brother done been homeless. And I've been through a lot of struggles. I done got stabbed and all that. But I didn't give up. You know, I started trucking school in 2012. Yeah, but being on a lot of situations going on, I had to stop, go back, stop, go back. But it don't matter, it's done. I'm officially party hard, the trucker, for real. In my heart, I've always been a truck driver. I want to be a truck driver since I was a child. But now I got a piece of paper that says, officially, I'm in the building. Mm. I want to give a shout out to all the YouTube truckers I follow. Uh, trucker Brown. Mr. Senator, Diva43, Sugar Ray, uh, Big Country out there in Cali doing the Cali style. I mean, just to all those guys and sisters, man, just to see them out there rolling and living their life and they sharing their experience. It just was, I mean, I always wanted to be a truck driver since I was a kid, but it was just good to see other people out there. They felt how I felt about the business. You know what I'm saying? Because you hear a lot of people crying. The business ain't what it used to be, this and that, but it's... You gotta be passionate about something, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel bad for the people who are not passionate about, they have, they're not passionate about nothing in their life. Like, it's really a waste of living to me. I don't get it. You have to be passionate about something. You know what I'm saying? Something you gotta, when you talk about it, you light up. And that's how I am with this truck shit. I was, since I've been a kid, I used to pay fiends who come through and try the trailers, man. They let me ride in that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here, here nor there. Main thing I want y'all to know is that hard work, man. Hard work and dedication. Now, um, now I'm in the process of looking at a bunch of companies because you know now that's the next phase of the game. Looking at a bunch of companies where I wanted to go, where I think I wanted to go. I first started trucking school. I wanted to go to U.S. Express, and a buddy of mine went, but he was so attached to his girl, he had to leave the truck. But uh, I've looked up the reviews, and one thing I would say to just anybody when you're looking at companies, go look at the reviews online, see what people saying about them, try to talk to drivers. Like, I'm in a group that, that's real good with that. Ruthless Grinders on Facebook. Team RG, stand the fuck up. I got to give them a shout out always, Team RG. Real supportive group of sisters, brothers. I mean, sisters, brothers, truckers, white, black, Spanish. I mean, everybody over there, everybody showing love. You can go in there and click, yo, is anybody driving for this company? And ask them about it. I mean, it's real informative. But I would just say before you just jump on a bandwagon with, band, excuse me, bandwagon with somebody, do your research. Because I definitely did mine. I talked to the U.S. Express driver, and I also read the reviews. People got gripes, but the only thing I really see people bitching about, nobody bitching about that bread. Nobody bitching about what they're getting paid. So I'm like, the rest of the shit, we'll work it out with this money. I like that. I'm on that. I like the equipment. The only thing I'm not too hip on is uh, the automatics. And dudes say they're not all automatic, so I'm hoping to not get an automatic truck. I know y'all probably just think you don't want an automatic. No, because I plan on going local at some point. And all the local jobs up here, they're running 10 speeds. They're running 10 speeds, and I just want to stay in my groove patch. You can do more. You get used to driving that automatic, and you get, you get back to them gears, you're looking crazy. Nah, nah. I like the gears. Ever since I've been a kid, gears in the truck, all those shit. 
Well, if that's what I got to work with, hey, that's what I got to work with so I can get what I want, right? Eventually get what you want. That's one thing about this industry. You might not start where you want, but you can get the way you want if you do a good job. And I don't have a problem that any job I've ever had, I believe in doing the best that I can. But uh, I just wanted to say, give you a quick update. Going to US Express, I'll be vlogging on that, showing you my whole experience with US Express, first load training and all that. So hope you're watching and tell other people to watch, but it's, it's about to crank up for me.